together because clearly the cops are still not serving or protecting my people and I'm tired. And I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm tired. I'm pissed off. I can't. I can't. It is ridiculous. And I can't with kumbaya bullshit. Uh, this is uh, we're here in San Francisco. This is Freeman Sullivan. Right here at San Francisco City Hall. He does Black Lives Matter. Hey, brother. Hey, Dave. Good to see you, my friend. We will march in set and be ourselves the hope of a living sun and never again welcome the moon into sight. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Yes, rich men do fear for the loss of their control in the minds in which they fear. So they know now why we would fight, but they do not go gentle into that night. And even foolish, hateful cowards who have traded white cheeks for gold badges, so then color is a crime punishable by death, and murdering blacks is legally right. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Oh, this system that produces nothing but greed, fear, and death, that tries hard to crush souls with voices loud who happen to protest. And because we all decide to stand instead of cower or flight, they do not go gentle into the light. And to us all, my people, here on this glorious height, bless me now with your fierce tears and raised fists, I pray. We must not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Thank you. Mike Brown, Alex Nieto, Eric Gardner, Oscar Grant, Kamari Rice, Alan Belfer, Blooper, Trayvon Martin. Shout out the names of those that have passed that you know. O'Shea Evans! O'Shea Evans! Alan Al Diallo. Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. Thank you. 
and that those brothers and sisters rest in power. And I want you to, I want you to realize that you're holding hands with someone that you may not have never, ever met. Someone who is standing next to you in solidarity for a movement that somehow started at the hands of blood. And now we're standing together in strength. Whoever would have saw the day or thought the day would come that we stand and scream the words, Black Lives Matter. And that brown lives matter. It may have taken too long, but we're here. And we must continue this fight. And I ask that you continue to join us. And bless you all. Felicia, can we get closer to the heart?
we're claiming this moment, and we are here because of a sister in New York, Atisha Brown. Atisha Brown, who has organized on social media, not only in San Francisco, as we speak, there in Oakland, she organized in New York, and you also know they're marching in Washington, D.C. As the brothers and sisters of Ferguson said to me, this is not your grandmama's civil rights movement. to San Francisco, police officers never carry what it looks like tear gas bad, and justice yeah, is not free. That's a tear gas for your police officer. But you have to decide if you're going to be a bystander and stand yeah. by, or you're going to be an upstander and stand up for your rights. Despite the fact that 77 years of Jim Crow and legal segregation was so-called abolished from this democracy, and despite the fact that civil rights movement went on 50 years ago where we have to stand up for our rights, I'm still viewed as a problem before I'm viewed as a person. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of America. I'm tired of them thinking that they can spend $1.3 trillion dollars to go make some new aircraft and we got African kids out here dying on these streets. Yeah. 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 Dying. I'm tired of it. So 
we got to keep on moving, keep this momentum going. That's all I got to say. speakers. Anyway, 20 years ago we didn't have uh, police at demonstrations carrying uh, tear gas. Right, this is a definite militarization of the police department. Right, a good place to start, you know, if you can't make it to demonstration, right, or you're afraid. Uh, police department in your city generally has police commission hearings. Um, start attending those hearings, right? Start speaking. They have public comment at the beginning of every police commission hearing. At least I know they do here in San Francisco, and they do in Oakland. I know they do in Berkeley. And you can come to these police commission hearings and make your voice known. Um, I remember uh, about two years ago, uh, we had hearings for uh, to see if the San Francisco Police Department were to be issued tasers, you know, those little stun gun thingies. Well, I uh, went to that hearing. I was at the San Francisco Department of Public Health, and I was able, I sh you know, I was able to show a YouTube video of the. There was a police officer speaking who was beating people with one of those telescoping, telescoping batons, you know, those little metal thingies. Anyway. Uh, we questioned him. I said, this is somebody who's using non-issue police department weapon, right, against uh, protesters. And what would makes you think that he would be any more responsible, after I played the video, uh, of him beating people, what makes you think that he would be any more responsible with the taser? Well, I don't know if my video had that much to do with it, but the vote from the Port of Health, they had 14 uh, doctors there, or people from the health professions and they voted it down 14 to 0 and thus our police department doesn't have tasers now I know a lot of people in the police department argue that well, having tasers will eliminate people getting murdered uh, it's the studies have uh, shown this not to be true um, and basically they're just getting used as torture devices on people over and over again you know whether they're, they're tasing little kids tasing anybody who resists in the least right you know, these police officers, you know, they don't seem to understand that the public pays their fucking paycheck, right? And just because you have a badge and a gun doesn't give you carte blanche to walk around just because you feel threatened so you can murder people. That's wrong. Right? Even soldiers in the field that are fighting in wars have more discipline than that, right? And if we're going to have a police department, you know, they're going to have to start protecting us better, right? And not just the 1%. And not just police, you know... And not just fucking City Hall, right? At any rate, you got my two cents worth there. Thanks for watching the live stream. I will... Let's see, there's a demonstration tomorrow um, on the 15th that I've been invited to. So uh, if you want to know more about what I'm doing, is I'm very active on Facebook as Clark Sullivan, C-L-A-R-K-S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N. Or you can follow me on Twitter at... Freeman Sullivan, and uh, here, let me uh, post it on chat so people know where to go. Hey, whatever, you know. I'm not going to argue fine points on the chat. 
because it's kind of pointless. All right, there you go. That's me. If you, so if you want to know when next time I'm live streaming, you could either follow me on the Ustream or follow me on Twitter, either one. And um, I'm usually announced by uh, StreamerBot. And we're having a little problem with Citizen Streams. But Citizen Streams, you can follow him too. And uh, there was one other one. Oh, yeah, Stream Team. You can follow them and you can find out more about live streaming. And if you're interested and you're in the Bay Area or even if you're online and you would like some advice or legal help or whatnot, um, you can always get a hold of me on Twitter. Um, you have to follow me or you can contact me there. Or I'm also, let me give you another way to get a hold of me. If you're interested in live streaming, you can email me at that, and uh, or you can send a message to me on Hangouts, and I'll be more than happy to uh, uh, gift you with uh, all my knowledge and experience about here—not just live streaming, but also my 40 years of being a journalist. So uh, check that out. And now we got more police that are marching through here. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. So uh, I'm going to keep the live stream up right here for a few minutes, at least until the police go, because I don't trust these cops after what happened the other night, which was total bullshit, by the way. No. I hate to say it, but usually when the police say, and I, I spent a lot of time in court as a uh, doing advocacy, ad, advocacy work for people that were arrested for medical cannabis and it's been my experience that uh, police lie quite a bit and they'll lie to make a case uh, because they're under pressure uh, to get a conviction um, and I've actually seen we've actually caught them in bald-faced lies uh, and in San Francisco uh, the police are in a, in a jury trial they're not as trusted as the actual people that were um, uh, the actual witnesses and people accused of crimes, uh, which is kind of important here in San Francisco. Uh, and uh, so, you know, having to deal with lying police all the time. And if you've ever dealt with police, uh, make sure you get a name and badge number when you're dealing with them. And if they don't want to give you a name and badge number, well, then uh, they're up to no good uh, because they need to be identified. And it should be recognizable on their uniforms. And if they're not wearing their name and badge, get a picture and send it in to the police chief of your local police department and they will be disciplined. Yesterday we had a police officer who was wearing uh, a Wilson name tag on his uh, outside of his uniform and we pointed that out on the live stream and tweeted the police chief of St. Louis and a little bit later he announced that that police officer will be disciplined. Well of course all he gets is a couple of days off without pay but at least that's something okay because the police, it starts with the name tags, and it works its way in from there. Anyway, I see a couple of people that I want to socialize with here at the demonstration. So I'm going to let everybody go. I'll be by tomorrow at the next demonstration. And also, uh, later on in the week on the 17th, I will be out and about again. So uh, thanks a lot, and much love and much peace to you all. To even love to all my good trolls out there. Thanks a lot for helping me out. Bye-bye.